you see in the corner, someone is trying to get inside of the door. That's going to happen and then it is unsuccessful. So they start shooting. Front desk individuals respond as anyone would, um, trying to get to safety, okay? I'm going to give you the background as to what happened, all right? Um, so no one, no one was struck by any of the shots fired, okay? So that's the good thing, not from a lack of trying. But no one was struck from the shot fired Tuesday into the WHBQ station, the Fox affiliate in Tennessee's second largest city, Memphis. Uh, the Memphis Police Department Deputy Chief Stephen Chandler said at a news conference, the bullet fired with an A. R style rifle hit glass and a desk, but it wasn't clear if it was fired intentionally, he said. Crisis negotiators helped take the suspect into custody. He wanted to meet with media. He had a message to send out, Chandler said. He didn't provide more details. Memphis police later announced that they had arrested Gerard Nathan, 26 years of age, and charged him with aggravated assault and reckless endangerment. It wasn't immediately clear if he had an attorney, Nathan, has had mental health issues since he was young, Marsha McKinney told news outlets. He's one of the nicest, kindest people, but everybody has another side, McKinney said. I think that my son is crying out for attention because he needs some help. The suspect first approached the station from a vestibule into the lobby of the station that was locked, wanting to talk, the station said. The suspect then showed the employee that he had a gun. The employee then left before the suspect fired a shot. According to the video, he then kept trying to open the locked door into the station and became angry, stomping his feet. Nathan appeared in court Wednesday. He told a judge that he could not afford to pay for a lawyer. The judge said he would be appointed a public defender. All right, here we go. Madness with guns, right? Okay, so there's a problem in America. Everybody basically agrees there's a problem in America with guns and gun violence and access to guns and individuals can have unlimited guns, unlimited ammunition, the list goes on. It's quite insane. Moments like this should remind everyone, when you have such free access to guns, you could be sitting at work one day, that could happen to you. That could happen to you. We have to engage in processes to limit, to restrict, that ability, especially of individuals who may have been red flagged or people who have, let's say, a questionable history with violence. These things are agreed by most Americans. All right, Dan, thoughts here. It's really scary. And well, the thing you said there is really accurate that in any workplace now, you kind of have to be worried about, okay, now we have shooter drills, just like now we're learning that kids are having them too. So it's a sad state of what affairs we're dealing with in society. But when you read that quote where they said, oh, well, we. A, they got a hostage negotiator or a crisis negotiator to talk them down. So that's a certain specialty that they don't always roll out for you. Yep. But B, they couldn't determine whether or not um, he was guilty of like intentionally firing the bullets. It's all right, sure, that's fine. It's the, the two tier justice system that we talk right. about all the time. Sometimes it's for rich and poor, sometimes I think it's a skin thing.